Hello, my name is Eduardo. Um, today I am here with a mini tutorial. Um, well, this tutorial is for Scratch, but we will be using App Inventor. The idea here is how to use my projects in <clears throat> in my cell phone. Okay, so basically that is the idea. Okay, and we are going to use the Web Viewer. Okay, that we have in <clears throat> in App Inventor. Okay, so I have here two buttons. Okay, and I have uh, this to load some project, okay, or some um, games or projects done with uh, Scratch, okay, and I am using the web viewer, so it is really, really, really simple, okay, so, I mean, this is just if you want to have these things, okay, in your mobile phone, okay, so, but um, I guess it is not a super, I mean, maybe it is not the best option because um, the first thing, well, you don't have uh, any keyboard, okay? So that's the idea. If you made your app uh, thinking about using keyboard or something, okay, uh, you uh, won't be able to use it, okay? The second thing is that you need to be online. so. To work with this thing, uh, you need to work online. So, and um, well, so if you don't have connection, you cannot work, okay, with this. So now I just add this thing, and then I just press back, and then I change to gain two, and we have to wait for the loading thing, okay? Oh, sorry for that. Oh, sorry, I press back again. So second time I guess it was faster. And well, I will explain you this. The idea it is pretty simple. For example, you have your project. Okay, so I am going to use this project, okay, that it was uh, remixed by Scratch Team. Okay. So now here you have this address you have to go to this page that is phosphorus okay so this is the web page phosphorus and then you have here an option at the beginning that it says paste your project okay basically it is just to change this everything is not changing from this so you change to the uh, other number okay so for example, if we are here, maybe we can use this one. So I mean, uh, you just copy this as I told you, or the full address, copy. Then in this page, you just paste it, and you have here, you just wait a little, and you can press package. So you can uh, select here the options full screen and then you have start automatically and that's it. So well, uh, I can select, when you press package, it will open this uh, page, okay? So this uh, ID or this address is the one that you have to copy, okay? So let's copy this and let's go to App Inventor. In App Inventor, I did this. I add screen, then an horizontal arrangement. In the horizontal arrangement, I have two buttons. Button one, button two, because I have two games. Then I have the web viewer. Okay, so the web viewer is just uh, set to 80, 80. Okay, you can set it to full screen if you want. Then uh, in the blocks, I just use these simple things. Okay, the first thing, uh, when we have the buttons, when when I press button one, okay, I will call the web viewer and go to URL, okay, or the address, and I'm going to paste the one that I just show you, okay. So in this case, let's add a new button and let's call it game three, game three. We have game three. You can rename it here. Load game three. Okay. So and then we just can copy these ones, okay? 
or you just can drag this one and then you are going to go to web viewer go to the address then you just do this take a block for text then you just paste enter and then the first thing because the web viewer is invisible we are going to make the web viewer uh, visible I'm going to make it visible true then we are going to make invisible the layout okay so not the buttons just the layout that is holding these buttons okay so we go to horizontal arrangement and then we go for visible and then to false finally okay we are going to check here an extra this is for the buttons all the buttons are the same we just change the address then we're going to create something to return to select another game in this case i am using you can add another button or i just use back press when you press back press i'm going to clean the web page okay or the web viewer so i'm going to clean then i'm going to make the horizontal arrangement with the buttons visible and then the web viewer i'm going to make it false and that's it so that's pretty much the stuff so you can also check here you have other things okay so um, and I think that that's the only thing that I can think so now let's try the button number three while we wait for this I'm going to build the app so we just wait a little wait for the third project So, and if you are planning to have this to play on your phone or your tablet, okay, just keep in mind that you need to work with things from, uh, I mean, from the mouse, okay, so you cannot work with a keyboard, okay, if not, you are not going to uh, be able to play, as I told you before. So, you have here these elements, and that's it, you have your project over there. Then I just press a backspace and I return here and I can try game two. So maybe this is a good option for if you have some games that you like and you want to play them, okay? But you need internet as I told you. So again, back, game one, and then we just wait for this thing. So we have this app. And that's it. I haven't tried uh, any projects with sound, but I don't. I am not sure if they play the sound. Okay, so maybe not. Okay, in this in the web viewer. So I will install the app and just to check that everything is okay. So just give me some minutes. I will stop it just a little fast. Well, I'm back. Here I have the app. Okay. So let's open this, it's installed. Here we have the buttons as I showed you before. You just have click game and you just wait to see if this is working or not working. Anyway. I guess. Oh yes, it was working. It was quite slow. I guess the first time it's a little bit slower. Okay, and also my cell phone and my connection. Not very fast. So we just wait a little bit. And don't, uh, don't forget to like this video if you like it and you find it uh, useful. I am checking other options to work with, uh, to make these kind of things, uh, to pass the Scratch projects to Android, but I guess this one the easiest, the easiest. So I guess it looks almost the same. So well, we're not using something like, ooh. 
and that's it okay and then I just return and I open game 2 we wait yes second time I guess it is faster then we have this thing I guess it looks a little bit faster well this is like drawing bananas then I clear then I go back and finally I, I try the third game well I guess that's all for this um, mini tutorial for scratch using App Inventor just to view your files and to use them okay in your Android phone and that's it so you have this thing we have this you can have like a collection of games over there to play online as I told you okay so now um, that's it so yeah I'm just curious what happens when you get disconnected so no Wi-Fi and then you just try to play maybe not well you are not going to play because you play from the web okay so yeah so that's happened okay so as I told you you need to check okay you need to be online for this thing to work well um, I will see you next time my name is Eduardo goodbye